vacation not haunted by Catholic nuns in angry penguin suits. You had nuns? We had grandmothers. Yeah, and those sweet nuns would be throwing erasers at your head right now, blaming your entire life on original sin. What exactly is original sin anyway? It means that we're all born sinners, so we baptize our babies, because even at birth we're not fit to be with God. <laughs> I've always wondered why you people like drowning your children. <laughs> It's like, it's like Sarah and I have been standing on a platform, waiting on a train, only I'm finally realizing she's been waiting on a completely different one. She doesn't get it. She doesn't get that life is passing us by. I never said it, but I wonder if we still see eye to eye, or will Goldberg, would we have a child by now? If I were a Bernstein, would she accept my vow? To give her my heart for the rest of her life, give her my money and make her my wife, and offer up my family jewels to Rabbi's knife. I'm a Jewish man, a very good husband, and their genitals are clean. <laughs> The show was amazing. I enjoyed it thoroughly. It was funny. It was entertaining. It was happy and had a moral. I absolutely did not want the show to end. I have seen many, many shows from New York to California, and this made me smile the whole time. There's a vintage shop I visit in the village. Every now and then I love to go in pillage. Ladies, way up town, I got a nice good gown with just a little smellage. <laughs> I can't believe the gems those women find so loathing. On racks and racks and racks of perfect clothing. I can tell you that I've never been to Nordstrom's. It's on the list of stores I call my stay away from. I refuse to go to Saks. Focus on relax with that hypo of music in my eardrums. I wish everybody luck. They should bring this to Broadway. It's so good. We were laughing the whole way through. We were all from different walks of life, and everybody was laughing at different parts of the show, and it was awesome. When I was young and slightly shy, I'd be a cigarette by Mordecai and learn how to wish laws apply to everything he do. The way he lived, the way he talked, where things went wrong, the way he walked. Guess Who's Coming to Seder. It was brilliant, it was funny, it was touching. Um, the choreography was awesome, and uh, I, I hope it makes it all the way to Broadway, and it deserves to go there. Wonderful book, wonderful music, great orchestra, fantastic. Make sure you come. Well, I was getting my nails done, and the girl was so slow, she kept talking and talking and talking, and I'm telling her I'm trying to get to a Seder. And she's like, what's a Seder? Is that some kind of tree? And I'm like, no, that's a cedar. What is this feeling I'm feeling? Perhaps I've had way too much wine. This evening has been so revealing. Did God finally give me Connecticut, three seas.
these two ends to tease so closely knit with lovely vowels in quadruple. It makes you feel so I, I loved it. I thought it was wonderful. Connecticut was my favorite song. I just, I loved Connecticut. really would recommend that people come and see it. It's really transformative. And I love this show. It's fabulous. It's something for everybody in it. It has such a wonderful score. It has all musical styles. And it's just a wonderful evening of theater. And I hope that everyone will come and see it. So, since Passover is all about freedom, let's take a minute and think about our own versions of bondage. Bondage? Well, hey, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> and how we enslave ourselves in our lives. Oh. Just saw Guess Who's Coming to Seder, fabulous. Randy Michaels is amazing, the music was amazing, the performers were amazing, it was great, it was wonderful, great message. Uh, best musical I've seen in a long time. So glad I was able to come. Hi, I'm so glad I came out. It was a wonderful production. I am ready to see it on Broadway. I think it's, it's ready for Broadway. Just amazing. I can finally say I'm ready. It's too bad there's no